Welcome to the control system playlist. In this lecture, we are going to learn about a new concept that is block diagram. A block diagram are a pictorial representation of a control system. So we will represent our control system in the pictorial format by the help of block diagram. A block diagram is used to represent control system in a diagrammatic form. So it is a representation of control system in a diagrammatic form. It is used to calculate the overall transfer function of a system. We will discuss about the transfer function in the upcoming videos, but the basic advantage of the block diagram is to calculate overall transfer function of a system. Let us represent a system by the help of a block diagram. So this is our system in which the input that is R of S is applied and the control system having the gain G of S is here and we will get the output from this control system as C of S. So this is a simple and basic representation of a block diagram. This is the input. and the C of S is nothing but our output of control system. So we represented a control system by the help of this block diagram. Now let us understand the elements of a block diagram. Generally there are two basic elements of a block diagram. So the first element is nothing but a summing point. And the second element of a block diagram is nothing but takeoff point. A summing point is used to sum two or more input signal. Whereas a takeoff point is a point from where the signal just goes out or takes off as its name represent. Let's discuss both these elements of a block diagram in more detail. So a summing point is used to sum two or more input signal. This is the basic use of summing point. The summing point is represented by this symbol. It is a two input summing point. This is input one and this is input two. And here is the output that we will get from this summing point. So Let's take an example in which the signal x of s is acting as an input 1 and the signal y of s is acting as an input 2. x of x is being added by the help of this summing point. So we will write this plus sign here and y of s is also added. That's why we will also write this plus sign here and we will get the output of this summing point as x of s plus y of s. This is input 1. This is input 2. And this is output. Since x of s is being added to the summing point with the polarity which is positive, 
that's why in the output we will also get positive x of s and y of s is added in the summing point with a positive polarity that's why we are also getting this y of s with the positive polarity and this is all about the output that we will get from this summing point now let us understand the summing point in more detail by the help of this second example in which a two input summing point is there this is output this is input 2 this is x of s which is acting as an input 1 this is y of s which is acting as input 2 x of s is being added with the polarity plus but y of s is being added with polarity negative so in the output we are getting x of s minus y of s this is output now let understand why we are getting this negative sign here in the previous example we have get the positive sign but here we are getting the negative sign this is because the x of s signal is being added to this summer by the help of this positive polarity so we are getting positive x of s but the y of s is being applied to the summer with a negative polarity that's why we are getting minus y of s so this is all about the concept of summing point now let us discuss the takeoff point a takeoff point in a block diagram represent a point where the signal takes off or goes out to the another branches This is the basic definition of a takeoff point. Let's understand the takeoff point by the help of diagrammatic representation. So this is a one branch onto which here is a takeoff point. So the takeoff point is represented by this symbol. And according to the definition, it represents a point where the signal takes off to another branches. So it is a point. This point is known as takeoff point. So from this point a signal takes off and goes to the another branch. This is an another branch and it is a main branch. This is all about the summing point and the takeoff point data represented as an element of block diagram. Thank you.